Finally, tonight it is Friday, and here are this week's notable quotables. I was complicit with this White House deceiving this nation. He gave him full authority to carry out the decision to let her go. I've never once heard him use a racial slur about anyone. I can't guarantee uh, anything. Whoever told you that is probably uh, smoking something that's legal in my state. His accuser claims she has a tape. She's not turning it over. Tonight is about the victory. I know better than anybody how important it is for us to win this election. We're going to take that to Washington to help President Trump. Trump, make America great, keep America great. Yeah. We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. I've seen this type of behavior on the part of foreign tyrants and despots and autocrats. I never, ever thought that I would see it here in the United States. We live in the United States of America. You're presumed innocent until proven guilty. It's about time that they deserve an FBI that's going to focus on the truth. Obviously, Peter Strzok wasn't that individual. We're not going to have a normal relationship with Turkey until they let Pastor Bronson out. You are attempting to sacrifice your relationship for a pastor with ties to terror organizations. I am absolutely embarrassed and ashamed. There is no defending the indefensible. Priests were raping little boys and girls, and the men of God hid it all for decades. Rest in peace, Aretha. That was quite a week. One week.